In this presentation we're going to look at probability functions, in particular the probability density function, uh, the expected values and the variance of random variables. So the random variable x has a probability density function given as follows. The PDF is equal to 3 times e to the minus 3x. Defined over the region x greater than, equal to, greater than 0. We're also we told about this variable y, which is what we're going to be dealing with mostly and that is the exponential of x. So the questions are uh, compute the exponential or the expected value of y which is the expected value of the exponential of x and also compute the variance of y. Two little uh, sort of uh, points to make best make them now is that e to the power of 0 is equal to 1 and e to the power of minus infinity is essentially going we can treat it as equal to 0. So those are two little identities that we're going to use quite a lot in this presentation. So first off, let's compute the expected value of y. So this is a general definition. It's not really relevant to uh, what uh, it's not really relevant to the particular values here. It's just a sort of general definition of how to compute the expected value of x. So it's x times the PDF of the uh, of the variable and what we do is integrate that. So here is what the job is about. We are looking for the expected value of y so we have y times the PDF, the probability density function, 3 times e to the minus 3x dx. So we are told here that y is actually equal to e to the power of x. So all we have to do is essentially simplify this function uh, integrate it and then apply the limits. Okay, so we're, the expected value of y is essentially the expected value of e to the power of x. So let's uh, do the calculations here. What we have here is x e to the power of x uh, times e to the power uh, e times e to the minus 3x. So let's just well, let's disregard that 3 there for a second. e to the power of x times e to the minus 3x that's equal to e to the minus 2x. So the integral is integral of 3 time from infinity to 0 of e to the minus 2x dx and that is equal to 3 times e to the minus 2x over minus 2 from infinity to 0. Okay so that is uh, essentially a, it was a very simple um, uh, integration once we had it decluttered. Now what we're going to do is apply the limits. So 3, uh, I'll, I'll make this 3 to the minus 2 by e to the minus 2 infinity, okay, minus, minus 3 over 2 by e to the power of 0, or well it's minus 2, minus 2 times 0, so it's just 0. So minus 2 infinity is just infinity as well. That's a almost a, a sort of silly thing to say, minus 2 infinity. So what we have here, if we recall earlier on, that this actually is equal to 0. So this whole term here, this entire uh, uh, term here is actually just equal to 0. Uh, this term here is actually just equal to 1. So the also to point out that we have two minus signs so essentially we just can replace that with a plus sign. So essentially all, what we have here is 3 uh, over 2 to the power of e to the 0 that's simply 3 over 2 because again e to the power of 0 is just 1. So the expected value of y is 3 over 2 and that is our first answer. So let's move on to the second question. 
compute the variance of y. Now we're going to use this formula here. The variance of y is computed as the expected value of y squared minus the expected value of y to be squared. Now earlier on we found that to be 1.5 or 3 over 2 squared or that in other words 1.5 squared and that's equal to 2.25. So this part here we already have done now. Essentially that's it there. So what we have to do is find the expected value of y to be squared. Now an important point to make here is that y squared is actually e to the power of x squ squared and that is actually e to the power of 2x. So the expected value of y squared is this expression here, y squared times e to the power of uh, minus, minus 3 times e to the minus x squared x dx. So let's uh, solve that there. First off we'll say that this is equal to e to the 2x, I'm going to bring the 3 outside, times e to the minus 3x dx. That's simply 3 times the in, uh, integral of, when we uh, calculate that, we just simply have minus x, e to the minus x dx. So again, once we declutter it, it's actually quite simple. So I'm going to start again here. And what we have here is that is equal to 3 times the integral of e to the 2x times e to the minus 3x. That's simply e to the minus x dx. So we have 3 times e to the minus x. The integral of that is e to the minus x over minus 1. Okay. From infinity to 0. So what we have here is a very similar situation. We have minus 3, that's just combining the 3 and the minus 1 there, times e to the minus infinity, minus, minus 3 times e to the minus 0. And again, that whole equation, that whole side of the equation just goes to 0. This, uh, the 2 minuses cancel out into a plus and that e to the power of minus zero is just e to the power of zero that's just equal to three so the expected value of y squared is just is simply equal to three okay so we're nearly finished now Variance of y, that's equal to, oops, let's pick a different color, that's equal to 3 minus 2.25, remember that's 1.5 squared from before, and that is simply equal to 0 0.75. So the variance of y is equal to 0 0.75. And